The DRDO has been tasked with preparing the detailed project report for the new Shudar Sun Chakra Air Defense Shield program. Godrej Enterprises has won a five-year contract from Safran Aircraft Engines to manufacture critical leap engine components. Hindustan Aeronautics has partnered with Yantra India Limited and Medani Group to source critical raw materials required for the production and maintenance of the Su-30 fighter jets. Despite weeks of Trump's threats and tariffs, India has increased oil imports from Russia with $3.4 billion in August compared to $3.1 billion in July. The Indian Coast Guard is exploring the use of underwater drones for monitoring marine traffic and curbing illegal activities. India has voted in favor of the New York Declaration, which calls for the creation of a Palestinian state. Prime Minister Modi underscored the importance of the Great Nicobar Island project, calling it a scheme of strategic defense and national significance. L&T will complete the design of its indigenous diesel-electric submarine for Project 76 by 2027. The Indian Army is actively pursuing the local procurement of an innovative enhanced range artillery projectile to extend the reach of its 155 mm artillery systems to 70 km, with future potential of 80 km using ramjet technology. The Indian Air Force is set to acquire 400 inflatable dummies, designed to mimic aircraft and air defense systems like the S-400 system, enhancing its deception and survivability tactics. Officials have said, that over 400 units of DRDO Safran 120 kN thrust jet engines are planned for long-term viability. Testing is set for 2028, with production readiness by 2035, and it has an export potential of over 1,000 engines. Safran has joined hands with Tato Advanced Engineering, Godrej Aerospace and Azad Engineering, to ramp up production of LEAP engines and support military programs. A Rafale fighter jet of the Indian Air Force evaded three Chinese-supplied PL-15 missiles fired by Pakistani J-10 and JF-17 fighter jets during the May 2025 conflict, with its Spectra EW suite proved decisive with advanced jamming and countermeasures. Tatu Advanced Systems Limited has unveiled the first image of the DRDO Tatu 8x8 wheeled advanced armored platform at the Defense and Security Equipment International 2025 in London, which is an indigenous alternative for the American striker. In a big development, the Defense Ministry has received the statement of case from the Indian Air Force to acquire 114 made in India Rafale fighter jets, and has begun discussions with Dassault Aviation and Indian Aerospace firms. Valued at over 2 lakh crore rupees, this would be the largest defense contract ever signed by the Indian government, with more than 60% indigenous content. The proposal will be taken up by the Defense Procurement Board headed by the Defense Secretary in the coming weeks. In a major development, a Russian technical team will visit Hindustan Aeronautics Nashik facility very soon, for an inspection to assess its suitability for manufacturing the Su-57E fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, as India deliberates on procuring 60 units with AL-41F1S thrust vectoring engines, that will later upgrade it to its Delia 177S next-generation engine. Officials have said, that 80% of the existing infrastructure including tools machinery and assembly lines can be repurposed for the Su-57 with minimal modifications, and only new assembly jigs and hydraulic systems would be required. Russia has offered full technology transfer source code access and even export rights of the Su-57 to India, that can carry 400 km range R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile and 2000 km range Mach-10 capable Kinzhal hypersonic air-to-ground missiles in enlarged internal weapons base, giving India a stealth platform capable of launching a hypersonic strike while staying undetected. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.